Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 25th of 2023. Well, it is titled the Eagle Nebula with X-ray hot stars. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the Eagle Nebula, and we can see the great pillars stretching out here, which are regions of star formation. Now, in fact, the whole region is one of star formation. And in fact, the newly formed cluster of stars would be off to the upper right hand side. And the intense energy of those stars pushes back and is eating away at the gas and dust here, pushing it back, leaving only the most dense portions pointing out out in that direction, giving the illusion of some fingers perhaps pointing out towards the star cluster. And within these new stars are still in the process of formation. Now, what do we mean by the X-ray hot stars? Well, stars generally don't emit X-rays. The stars are emitting light based on their temperatures and very cool stars will emit a lot of infrared light. Many stars like our sun will emit most of their light in the visual band and other very hot stars will emit much of their light in the ultraviolet. But it would take temperatures of a million degrees or more to emit significant amounts of x rays. So it is a good question as to whether stars how how many stars produce x rays. But what was found here was looking at these in x rays we can find and let's take a look at this. We can see that there were a number of stars found that do emit x rays and in fact are relatively strong x ray sources. So all of those little dots there are examples of an x ray source. And in fact, if we look at and compare, we can see that many of them are linked in and share positions with an, a star that's visible in the other image. So as we go back and forth between the two, you can see that the majority of these some of these are very, very faint stars, some seem to match up with nothing, which may be an even fainter star but they are all emitting a lot of x-rays. Now what is causing this is this topic of current research in astronomy. Uh, one thought is that it might be some recently formed low mass stars that are giving off the x-rays. Other thoughts are that they are older high mass stars. So whatever it is, it's going to be something a little bit different than the tip our typical understanding of a star. Now we do know that stars go through different stages as they form and perhaps at one stage something is happening to that star that causes it to give off x-rays. So at this point we know that many of these stars are giving off x-rays. It's not just one or two. There's a whole bunch of them here. But we don't know the exact reasoning for this at this point. So that was our picture of the day for July 25th of 2023. It was titled the Eagle, Eagle Nebula with X-ray hot stars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.